Have you ever faced moments in life when pain, whether physical or emotional, seemed unbearable? When it felt like the weight of the world was on your shoulders and you wondered if there was any purpose to the suffering you were enduring? Pain is a universal human experience, one that no one can escape. It's something that we all encounter at various points in our lives. But what if I told you that your pain, that very suffering you're enduring, has a purpose? What if I told you that there's a greater plan at work, one that goes beyond the immediate discomfort and leads to something meaningful and transformative? In those darkest moments, it's often challenging to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's during these times that our character is tested and our spirits are forged. Pain, whether it's physical, emotional, or even spiritual, can serve as a catalyst for growth and transformation. It's through these trials that we learn the most valuable lessons, that we discover the strength we didn't know we had, and that we become more empathetic and compassionate beings. So let's explore this profound idea together. Let's delve into the concept that your pain has a purpose, and that trusting in a greater plan, rather than fixating on the pain itself, can lead to a life of greater meaning and fulfillment. We'll discuss how pain can be a teacher, a motivator, and even a gift in disguise. And through it all, remember that you're not alone in your journey. We're all travelers on this winding road of life, facing our own pains and discovering the purposes they hold. So, as we venture into this exploration of pain and purpose, let's do so with open hearts and open minds, ready to uncover the hidden treasures within our suffering. Pain is an inevitable part of the human experience. We encounter it in various forms throughout our lives, whether it's physical pain from an injury or illness, emotional pain from loss or heartbreak, or spiritual pain from questioning the meaning of our existence. Pain can be overwhelming, and it's natural to want to escape it or wish it away. But what if, instead of trying to evade our pain, we embraced it as part of our journey. What if we considered that our pain is not a meaningless burden, but a meaningful process? It's essential to acknowledge that pain can feel senseless when we're in the midst of it. It's often accompanied by feelings of frustration, anger, and despair. We question why it's happening to us, and we long for relief. However, these moments of pain can serve as turning points in our lives, if we allow them to. They can be the catalysts for significant personal growth, resilience, and self-discovery. Think about the times in your life when you've experienced pain, whether physical or emotional. Perhaps you faced a challenging illness, the loss of a loved one, or the end of a significant relationship. During those moments, you likely felt an immense weight on your shoulders, a burden that seemed unbearable. But as you look back, can you identify the strength and wisdom you gained from those experiences? Did they lead you to reevaluate your priorities, to find resilience you didn't know you had, or to deepen your empathy for others going through their own trials? Pain often acts as a powerful teacher, guiding us towards personal growth. It pushes us beyond our comfort zones and forces us to confront our weaknesses and fears. It compels us to seek solutions, to be resourceful, and to develop coping strategies we might never have explored otherwise. Pain calls upon our inner reserves of strength and determination, teaching us that we are capable of enduring and overcoming challenges we once thought insurmountable. Moreover, pain can be a profound motivator for change. It often becomes the driving force behind transformations in our lives. Think of the person who, after experiencing a health scare, completely overhauls their lifestyle, adopting healthier habits and enjoying a higher quality of life. Or consider the individual who, following a devastating breakup, embarks on a journey of self-discovery, ultimately finding a more profound sense of self and purpose. It's worth noting that while pain has the potential to lead us to personal growth and positive change, it doesn't guarantee it. Whether pain becomes a source of growth or stagnation is often a matter of choice. We can choose to resist and resent our pain, allowing it to embitter us, or we can choose to embrace it, acknowledging that it's an integral part of the human experience.
When we accept our pain as part of life's intricate tapestry, we gain a new perspective. We begin to see that pain isn't an isolated incident, but a thread woven into the fabric of our existence. This shift in perception allows us to transcend our pain and recognize it as part of a more comprehensive plan, a plan that often extends beyond our immediate understanding. In many belief systems and philosophical traditions, pain and suffering are seen as integral parts of human existence. They are not viewed as random or meaningless, but as opportunities for growth, learning, and ultimately, transcendence. Pain is often seen as the path to wisdom and enlightenment. Even if you don't adhere to a particular religious or philosophical belief, it's essential to acknowledge the wisdom contained in the idea that our pain has a purpose. In the grand tapestry of existence, pain and suffering serve as catalysts for change, as reminders of our shared humanity, and as opportunities for profound spiritual and personal growth. They remind us that we are not invulnerable, that we are capable of immense courage and resilience, and that we can emerge from pain with newfound strength and wisdom. So, how can we learn to trust in this higher purpose, this grand plan that encompasses our pain and suffering? It begins with a shift in our perspective. We must move from viewing pain as an uninvited enemy to understanding it as a welcomed, if challenging, companion on our journey. It's not about denying or minimizing the difficulties we face, but rather about recognizing that, within these challenges, there are opportunities for growth and transformation. This shift is not always easy, especially when we're in the throes of pain. In those moments, it can feel nearly impossible to see beyond our immediate suffering. However, it's precisely during these challenging times that our trust in a greater plan is tested the most. One way to cultivate this trust is through the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages us to be present with our pain and to observe it without judgment. It allows us to acknowledge our suffering while recognizing that it's only one part of our complex human experience. Through mindfulness, we can create space for the idea that our pain has a purpose, that it is a stepping stone on our journey rather than a roadblock. Another essential aspect of trusting in a greater plan is the development of resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, to adapt to challenging circumstances, and to grow stronger through the process. It's like a muscle that becomes stronger with each trial it faces. When we develop resilience, we become more equipped to handle pain and suffering, and we're better prepared to see the purpose within our struggles. At the heart of resilience is the understanding that setbacks and pain are not signs of failure but opportunities for learning and growth. When we encounter challenges and setbacks, we can choose to learn from them and use the lessons to move forward with more wisdom and resilience. By reframing our perspective in this way, we empower ourselves to trust that our pain is not in vain. One essential element in embracing the purpose of pain is the practice of self-compassion. Self-compassion is the act of treating oneself with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a dear friend. It involves being gentle with ourselves, especially in moments of pain and suffering. It means recognizing that it's okay to be human, with flaws and vulnerabilities, and that our pain is a part of our shared human experience. Self-compassion can be a powerful tool in our journey to understanding the purpose of pain because it reminds us that we are deserving of love and care, especially from ourselves. It counteracts the tendency to blame ourselves for our suffering or to believe that we somehow deserve the pain we're experiencing. When we practice self-compassion, we acknowledge our pain while treating ourselves with the kindness and empathy that we deserve. As we continue to explore the idea that your pain has a purpose, remember that this perspective does not negate the real and valid nature of your suffering. Pain is a genuine and often profound experience. It's not about pretending that pain doesn't hurt or denying the difficulty of your circumstances. Instead, it's about recognizing that within that pain, there is an opportunity for growth, learning, and transformation. 
Your pain is not the end of your story, but a chapter in the grand narrative of your life. It's a chapter that has the potential to be filled with resilience, wisdom, and compassion. It's a chapter that can lead you to a greater understanding of your purpose and a more profound connection to the world around you. In conclusion, your pain has a purpose, one that extends beyond the immediate discomfort and challenges. It's part of a more comprehensive plan, a grand design that encompasses both the joy and suffering of our human experience. It's a plan that offers opportunities for growth, resilience, and understanding. Trusting in this purpose can be a transformative and empowering act. It allows us to see our pain not as a meaningless burden, but as a meaningful part of our journey. So, the next time you find yourself facing pain, remember that it's an opportunity for growth and transformation. Embrace it with the knowledge that it's leading you towards a more profound understanding of yourself, your purpose, and the world around you. Your pain has a purpose. Trust in the plan that goes beyond your pain and you'll discover the beauty in your journey. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Your courage to explore the purpose of pain is a testament to your strength and resilience. As we move forward on our respective paths, may we find meaning and growth within our pain and support one another on this shared journey.